This video is a talking point about Sandbox and some of its surrounding issues relating to the development of the game and its future plans for release. I'm also not responsible if you get upset because I said something that you didn't agree with in this video, as a majority of the stuff mentioned and said is basically personal opinions. This video is not meant to focus on only negative talking points of the situation, but more so this video is to inform and talk about certain situations and reactions folks have had both good and bad about this game and its future. Let's begin. Sandbox has been in development for over seven years, with originally starting on Unity, switching over to the Unreal Engine, and then finally returning to its new and renovated home, which is on the Source 2 engine. Looking at its long development history at a glance, switching engines a total of three times can seem like the game has been in a form of development hell for quite a while. And while it's not hard to see that the recent switch to Source 2 was only four years ago, Facepunch has mostly made progress at least for the last two years, as in my opinion, the switch to the new scene system reminiscent to Unity scene system is what changed the game's trajectory in a whole other direction. This change does come with some caveats and that's frustration. Frustration of not only the developers that have to rework a ton of their projects as with the new scene system switch made them dead on arrival, but rather the fan base of people who are truly looking forward to the next big game that Gary and Facepunch are putting so much time, blood, sweat, and tears into, only to receive much mixed reviews looking from the outside in. I started this channel back in 2022 as a way for me to obsess over wanting to cover and talk about Sandbox as a game and also to learn more myself and get a hands-on approach. Hell, even for me as a Gmod fan, I used to play the game back in 2009 when I made my first YouTube channel trying to make Gmod machinimas like all the other cooler Gmod creators back in the day. Truthfully, this was a reason why I started making YouTube videos in the first place and only 15 years later to start a new channel talking about one of my favorite Sandbox games of all time's latest spin off game, I was pumped. Rambling aside, let's get into why Sandbox has a Gmod 2 problem. For the time I've covered Sandbox and talked about this game numerous amounts of times and will talk about it a million times more into the future, the only thing I've ever truly experienced aside from the occasional I'm definitely interested in this wacky and weird concept Gary and crew are working on is the other side of the pendulum with this game is going to flop with X, Y, and Z or nothing can replace blah blah or this won't work because blah blah. You can tell how tired and numb I've become with just hearing some of these alone. But in a way, the mixed response, 90% of the negative relates to the overall presentation and view of the game, even from a non-official standpoint, including videos showing off games and concepts from my own channel can lead to this main response. And to be fair, even though many people like me, Gavardos, Fortune, and many more are giving Face Punch a free marketing speed for the game as we talk about it, it's very hard to not see many people do in fact really just want to have an updated version of Gmod slapped onto the Source 2 engine and nothing more. As a Gmod fan myself, I definitely get it. I truly do, and I also get that sometimes we're not always gonna get everything we want in life. But I would like to say in many glimpses to look at Sandbox and see what it can provide. Obviously, I'm sure Face Punch is very aware of this specific group of folks that only want the Sandbox game mode that was in Sandbox at one point and was removed because it was rumored to get reworked again for the near future. Will Face Punch work on it again? We'll just have to find out. And while it has been a while, Face Punch has been working heavily on other things during that time. That's not me trying to defend Face Punch at all, that's actual fact. Face Punch and Gary have been doing so many updates in the background, and I do my absolute best to cover the more digestible stuff for anyone who watches or may not care about the technicalities specifically, or for anyone new who's interested in learning something about this game. But of course, the dreaded questions always come up. Is this Gmod 2? This game isn't sandbox without the sandbox game mode, etc, etc. Let's just start with the obvious on the official response. Gary mentioned perfectly as to why Sandbox is the way it is on Twitter during the entire Team Fortress Source 2 situation. His response in short was, the game is basically nothing like Gmod. We don't have the Valve assets because we don't have the license for that. We only have it for the engine. The game itself isn't a sequel to Gary's mod, and that part is very apparent because of the presentation and even model that ranged true on the official website. Gary's attitude in favor of doing something completely different and out of the box seems like in Gary Newman fashion. He's done this for Rust, which in itself is a wild game and community, and now wants to do it again, but flipping the concept of what made Gary's mod what it is, and to create something bigger and also something that he wanted to do during Gmod's development because of limitations of the source engine, coding language, and even more. 
As the game continues to push forward more and more towards the release of the game, it's definitely going to be received very mixed. And this is a result of many factors, including the way that the game was originally presented is and as a spiritual successor to Gary's mod and a love letter to the Source 2 engine, the presentation of the characters within the game, which have become a controversial staple of the game and how they look, and of course, the weird development attitude, presentation, and overall mix of arguments between the Sandbox development community and Gmod's development community over massive changes to the system and tools for the game itself. Personally, I think the development of this game and seeing it from both a perspective of not only outside, but properly inside the community as well has been incredibly interesting to see. Many folks want certain things and this game seems to go in some directions others are clearly not interested in. But that doesn't mean that there's also other people who are gladly wanting to give this game a shot as there is a way for them to show off their game development skills and prowess to make games on possibly one of the next biggest platforms. Keyword, possibly. For me, as I've covered this game and seen the growing pains, reactions, ups and downs that this game has had so far and more, not everyone is gonna be able to get everything with this game. And even though the game is gonna be finished at some point and released within this year, apparently as it had missed the rumored mark of 2023, Sandbox's identity and existence is going to be a very mixed bag and there's nothing wrong with that. The game's existence is built on a similar concept with new rules, different direction of attitude in relation to the games and community surrounding it, which is of course being adults and other chronically online people like myself and of course with a bold new take and spin-off of its legendary predecessor Gary's Mod. No matter what happens yes Gary's Mod will always exist, always will be present and always will be a reminder of a time where one sandbox game has become an essential game in every PC gamer Steam game list. But that doesn't mean with how Sandbox is and its existence next to Gary's Mod, Sandbox's take on game platforms and user generated content could possibly hit it out of the park if done right. As I will always say in my stance and also just as everyone else watching from the outside looking in, we'll just have to see it once the game actually comes out. And then maybe Sandbox could break out of its predecessor's shadow and stand on its own two feet. If you want to know more about some of the recent things that have been happening within Sandbox, definitely check this video out here on screen and thanks for watching.